Quesada, Joshua Deprive Productions, back in UE4 with a 35th material tutorial, and we're going to talk about changing our texture resolution. I know that's not really materials, but we need materials, so calm down. This is a request video as well. I said we were going to do a few of those. Got a couple messages in the Facebook Center asking about changing texture resolution. I'm going to show you how to do it, but I'm going to show you why you should also do it. Now, check it out. I'm already in the DP folder. You know that. I got wood. It's right here. I always have wood. And then I have a wood normal map. So I need, and if you pay attention, if you look down there, it says they're both 4K, 4096 by 4096. That's 4K resolution, okay? I'm going to create a material right here. And I'm, I'm going to name it wood. That's that's pretty normal. It's going to be it's going to be wood. We're going to double click it, right? Open it. Make sure it's in the neck. Make sure it's in the other window here cuz UE4 sometimes forgets how I do, okay? But I'm going to hold shift click, grab both of those, drag them in here, okay? We've done this a million times. Let's quickly set up our material, right? And since it's wood, okay? And I got wood, we're going to talk about why I have wood later. Now, I'm going to plug that into the the the, the base collar. Plug this into the normal like I always do. But I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to need a little bit of a texture coordinate based off of where I'm going to put it. So I'm going to plug my texture coordinate into the UVs of both of these. We've done this a billion times. If y'all don't have this figured out yet, you need to go back to my first tutorial. <laughs> anyway, the point is we have our texture coordinates set up. And the thing is, just real quick, because I'm picky, it doesn't need to be metallic at all. And maybe just a little roughness. And I'll be weird about it. I want it to be a little shiny. How about a 0.39? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. I kind of like that. There we go. Let's save it. And now we're done. That's it with the material. We're going to talk about the textures. So here's what I want to do. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the wood and place it right there. Okay? If I F11 and Alt P and run around in here like a bad baby, that looks pretty good. You know, I can zoom in and zoom out. I still got that set up on the third person character. But the point is, if you look at the floor, it's pretty high res. You know what I'm saying? You can move around. It doesn't look blurry. It looks real nice. And, and that again, that's why you use high resolution, high texture resolutions. Like if you had 8K, you could get right up in it in first person and look right at it and whatever or not. Now, if you pay attention, I got a big white plane out there. Now, what I'm going to do is that thing's actually pretty far away, right? I mean, it's actually, it's pretty far out here, okay? Now, that's the point I'm trying to prove to you is what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that same material and pop it right out there, okay? Now we can see that bad baby, you know what I'm saying? And the reason we're going to talk about texture scaling here is because we want to talk about resource management, kind of like when you're doing LODs and stuff like that. The, the, the texture out there doesn't need to be as high as it is over here. So honestly, you'd probably use a couple different materials or you'd, you'd change the material based off of its distance to have re lower resolutions, lower texture resolution. And let me explain that a little deeper. So the point is right here it's 4K, right there it's 4K. Now since we're using the same material and the same two textures in the material, when I change it, you're gonna see it on both, but you'll get the point. Right here when I'm looking right at it, let's get right up on it. Oh God, let's get right up on it. That's pretty dang good. You know, like I'm right up on it, you see that, right? But from a distance, look at it. I mean, it's still, it's great, but you're not seeing all that detail. And that's literally how your eyes work, bro. You could be right up on a rock, right? You're right up on it. Okay. And you can see all the little grains and nonsense, but then you back 500 feet away from that rock, right? You, even your eyes, our, the capacity of our, our perception is not going to, it's not going to see clearly all that, all, all those tiny, tiny, tiny specks. But the point is we can get up close and look at it if we want to, right? But the point is, again, the point is, the point is, the point is, I say that a lot. Uh, from a distance, we may not need that type of resolution. And that's why we're going to talk about bringing it down a notch. You know, you know, simmer down, simmer down a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to open up our wood because I got plenty of that. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on the, re now you can do it two different ways. You can, you can click on your textures out here and open up the same window, but I'll just click on that and I can scroll in here and double click and open up my wood texture. I'll go back here. Click on the normal, open up my wood normal texture. Now we're going to talk about how you do this. Now look here, look here. Imported, right, right. Displayed. Okay. It shows exactly what you need in game. It shows your resolution here. Let's go to the first one. I want you to go down here to the LOD bias under the L level of detail. Now watch what happens. It's set to zero. You see that? Now if I set it to the number one, did you see how displayed did that? Hold on, set it back to zero. It's four. One, two, three, Four. Look at the look at the texture. Look at it slowly getting more and more blurry. You know what I'm saying? So let's set it back to zero. Boom. So this is literally every time you add one to it, it's cutting your resolution in half. Okay. And this is this is I'm, I'm using a a one by one based display, which means the, the the height and the width are the same. You you may have a mess going on there, and I apologize for that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it to four. So instead of instead of forty ninety six, it's gonna be two fifty six by two fifty six. 
That's a lot lower, bro. That's a lot lower. But we got to do the same to the normal. So I'm going to go to the normal. I'm going to set it to four as well. So they're both 256. And you can see the difference. And you can really see the difference now when I'm playing the game. So I'm in here. And as you can tell, the resolution is a lot lower, which makes the, you know, which makes the picture blurry. And that's fine. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not fine for right now. Look, when I zoom out, it helped a little bit. Did you see how that helped? I mean, that's common sense to a lot of you guys, I'm sure. But the point is, from a distance, it's not that bad. You zoom in, you're like, oh, God, bro, get it together. Get it together. But the point is, from a distance, Distance, and that's what we're, we're toying with here. This is set to 256. We just saved a ton of power. We, if, if you have 1,500 texture, 1,500 objects with this texture on it, and you just did that, you saved a ton of power. You literally saved 80 something percent of your power when it comes to texture or, or, or you know, identifying textures and placing textures and materials. Now, the thing is, again, if you zoom in, you know, you're going to see kind of a blur. If you zoom out, everything's okay. For, look at that big plane out there, bro. It, you can't even see a difference from what we looked at it before. But of course, if I run all the way over here on it, you're going to see that it's real blurry now. You know what I'm saying? That's, the, that's, the, that's not the point. Okay, the point is, I got lost. Okay, I had to press Alt-P. The point is, you, your distance, and this would obviously be two different materials. We wouldn't have the same one here because we need this one to be clear, and we don't need that one to be as clear. Because again, look at it close up now. It's like, oh God, but from a distance, it's not that bad. You could take it to the next level, bro. I could set it to maybe like, check it out, with six. I mean, we're way up there. It is now just trash. I mean, it is trash resolution. You know, if you made a game with this, you, I love you. Uh, but, the, but the point is now, like, you literally can't even, you can't even see what the crap's going on. Now, check it out from a distance. Let's look, let's zoom out. Zoom out. Way out. Wow. Look how it's slowly not looking as bad. Now, it still doesn't look good. You know what I'm saying? From this distance, let's just leave our screen here. Let's go back. Okay, let's go back and set it to like two, right? Set that to two. We're up to a thousand. We're to 1K textures now, right? And let's actually just think about it ourselves. How much different does it look? Does it look that different? Does it? Does it? Huh? Answer me. It doesn't. Okay, you're lying to yourself. Okay, you're lying to yourself because that looks like crap. Now, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and set it back to zero because you know that that that's that's what's going on. And we're gonna leave it on zero. I think did I put it on did I put it on the on the zero? I did. I did. And the reason I'm gonna leave it there is because that's what's best, man. I mean, it looks good and that, that this looks amazing. And I can zoom in. I can zoom way in. Like I said, I can I can get right down on here. And if it was 8K, if this was an 8K texture, it would be flawless even at this because you can start to see the blur, right? But I'm right up on it. I mean, come on, give me a break. But the point is, from about right here, I mean, you're looking flawless. But again, all this, all you're doing out here is you're wasting resources. That's really what you're doing. Seriously, on a serious note, not playing around, you are wasting resources. If you're using a 4K texture 150 miles away from your character, like that's a joke. And if you, if, if, if just think about that. I mean, if you have trees upon trees upon trees and they're using the same texture as the one beside you, but you will never reach them in the game. And it's literally just for visual purposes. There is no reason in hell that you should have 4K textures out there. So drop them. Go in here and, and, and go to your materials. And drop them to 512 or something. I mean, like, that's the whole point as to keeping everything nice and neat and, 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 and easy on your computer and easy on people's computer that plays the game. It's all about that. But a lot of you guys already probably knew this. But for y'all that didn't know how to change your resolution, this is how you do it. It's that simple. Find your materials or find your textures or right here. Just click them right here. You know what I'm saying? Pick which one you want. Find your textures. Change the LOD bias. Okay. And for those who didn't realize that that's a big resource hit, well, I hope that was really, I hope this was news to you. For those, I, I know a lot of people do understand that, but a lot of people did not know exactly how to change their texture resolution. This is as close to a material video as I can think, so that's that's why it's a 35th material tutorial. You know, so as I say, it is it is what it is. Okay, I'm not arguing with you, but you know, hey, this this is a really this is really powerful information. It's very useful for anyone doing artwork in any type of art inside of UE4, and they've imported larger materials, larger textures, and they don't know how to to scale them back. You know what I mean? Uh, we'll talk more about this. I got a couple more requests I got to cover, guys. If you have anything, anything, seriously, right now I'm pumping them out. Hit me up on Facebook, The Prop Productions. The link's in the description. Sub subscribe to the YouTube channel too, man, while you're at it. But if you have any questions, you want anything covered, holler at me. If I can do it, I'm going to do it as quick as possible. And I'm going to do it over the next few days. Next couple weeks, we're going to be pumping out a couple more. I've already got two more requests, so I'm going to get them done. Guys, thanks for watching again. Love you, miss you. Josh here, always loving to talk to you. Twenty, Almost 2,200 subscribers. You guys are amazing. We're having fun. But guys, if you have any questions, like I said, holler at me on Facebook. I'll get to you. I'm going to try everything. I try every way I can to help everyone I can right now because you guys have been so awesome. Okay? You guys have been great. We have all kind of cool stuff coming out on top of that stuff. We're just we're doing a lot of work right now. We're doing a lot. A lot of work. A lot, a lot of new stuff we're learning. Okay? And we got some big, big news coming. I'll talk to you about that later. But either way, guys, hit us up. Subscribe. Follow us. SoundCloud, Bandcamp. All the links are in the description. I'll talk to you next time. Love you. Miss you. Peace.